Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan and Ty. What up? Today we have Radiohead. Now, this is a band that is very popular. Probably one of the most popular bands of all time. It's past due. <laughs> it is. I will say that. We've all heard of them, right? Yeah, I was like, I don't even know who Radiohead is. Radiohead are an English rock band formed in Abingdon, Oxfordshire. Mm. Hope I didn't butcher that too much. <laughs> in 1985, the band consists of Tom York, brothers Johnny Greenwood and Colin Greenwood, Ed O'Brien, and Philip Selway. They all met each other while attending the same independent school, and they've never had any other members. Nice. That's rare. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Like just, just look at our intros and all of our videos. How many times have we said that? <laughs> I mean, it, it has to be on one hand. Their experimental approach is credited with advancing the sound of alternative rock. They have sold over 30 million albums worldwide. They have won six Grammys and were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2019. So I know a lot of reaction channels, they start out with Creep because that's like arguably their biggest song. Me and you have heard that. Yes. It was in Rock Band. Ryan might have even heard that song. Yes. And we will do that song, but I didn't want to start with that because we've had songs where it's like, that's what every reaction channel starts with. But I don't like to do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do a creep, but we're actually going to start with High and Dry. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that's heard this song. Yeah, I don't know. This was originally written by York when he was a student at Exeter University. And Tom York does not like this song. He doesn't like Creep either. But regarding this song, he has said that it is not bad. It's very bad. It was recorded as a demo during the sessions of Radiohead's first album, Pablo Honey. And it was remastered for this album. And this is the second album, The Bins, released in 1995. And the album went platinum. Probably took too long. But here we are. This is Radiohead, High and Dry. It just sounds like leaves on the ground. Yes. <laughs> you know, you walked out, and it was a brisk, cool, there was a nip in the air. You just breathed in, and you breathed out. It's just invigorating. You can tell this is 90s. <laughs> sounds like Goo Goo Dolls. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. I knew somebody <laughs> was going to say that. But this is before. You know, there's a lot of songs like this in the 90s, and I feel like it just transports you to that time. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's just like when you hear, like, certain tones of the 80s. It takes you straight to the 80s. It's no different with these, like, sentimental acoustic tracks. Like, you just think 
of the 90s. What do you think about the vocals, Ryan? Fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah his vocals fine. are good. I could tell by the first four lines he said, I said, oh, yeah, he knows what he's doing, and he's fired. Yeah, great control. Like I, Yeah, like I said, it's always how you say it. <laughs> if you can say it like I like it, it's going to be fire. This has to be hard to sing live, though. You mentioned it before, like when you're high pitch, singing like a guy, you, you've mentioned that oh, several yeah. times. Yeah. Just like when you're trying to hold that note, uh, like it's got to be tough, man. And I love the video. Showing the camera icons along with like the side pan and the zooms. It's like you're watching a music video while it's still in production. And uh, this is in a desert, and it's black and white, just like... So you um, guess what desert? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh. Give it away. <laughs> oh. Kind of gives me Better Call Saul vibes. Oh, yeah. Specifically the last season. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing I wanted to say, that kind of like ringing guitar, that's another sound where it's like, wow, it's so nostalgic. You'll be the one you tell. Like the squeak, too. Sides fall to pieces. You just sit there wishing you could still make love. And the ones who hate you when you think you got the world all so stars. So stout. little shot going down like that uh well they're definitely not dry anymore <laughs> oh yeah yeah that desert got wet quick obviously symbolic you know towards the meaning though uh, and adding that solo phrase to the last chorus i thought that was fire nice way to send it home yeah like, like i said this had to be one of the songs that jump-started these type of songs these soft-hearted compositions and for me this is like one of the best in that field. You know, the problem with like a lot of these types of songs is that, you know, they feel too depressing or sappy or they feel kind of like uninspired. And I don't get that here. This feels earnest. It feels real. And it's not all like gloomy. Like, you know, that for the most part, this does sound like gray skies. But towards the end of the song, it does give you a sense of hope. You know, like there's a, a blue sky, you know, peeping through the cracks. Yeah, it's just a chill and charming listen. And sometimes that's all I want in music, man. I just want an easy listen, so uh, I really enjoy that song. Yeah, this is something that I can just, like, replay, like, right after I hear it. You know, there's songs that I can just, like, okay, I just need to restart because I just got lost in it, and I really wasn't paying attention because it was such a good groove, and I was so into it that I just need to listen to it again. Yeah. So this is something, like I said, I would just hit replay as soon as it gets done. So this is easy playlist. This right. song is great. <laughs> it's in my lane. Everyone knows I like those slower 
got a depressing song. That's just my thing. I like the depressing song. Like I you, just like dark music. You've confessed your love for that yeah. more than me and Ryan have. But yeah. don't get me wrong. Like I love songs like this, too. Yeah, I just, just haven't brought a lot of them to the yeah. channel. It all depends on who's doing it and like how they're doing it. And in this case, I like this, obviously. <laughs> any of my, any good singers that come on the channel, more than likely I'm going to like them. Yeah, you, yeah. you've admitted Because I like am the singers. singing guy. I like the singing songs. The <laughs> like, singing and the sax. The songs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like you said something about like the 90s, right? Mm -hmm. So there'd be these TikToks I'd be seeing, some high school 2002. And it'd be these old videos of all people in um, high school. And you can tell by how they dress. It's the I can see this song yeah. being on one of them videos. Yeah. That's the first thing I thought of. I just thought about being in high school. It's just one of those ones like people just recording random, you know, goofy stuff and like, you know, just seeing how the times have changed. Yeah. It's like it's like one of those like songs you put for a times have changed type of video. Yeah, that yeah. that is a great point. Yeah, I think it, that's like that's it, like a, that'd be a perfect thing for that. It does sound like the last day of school. And you know, one of the um known kids, you know, popular kids in school. Not the most popular, but popular. He went around with the camera, yeah. classroom to classroom, in the lunchroom, all the teachers. You know, it just sounds like you're saying goodbye. Yeah. That's where it sounds They go to the people, they'd be like, you know, they'd, <laughs> yeah. be, you know, they'd be grabbing on Don't people. forget me. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plus it's like, this, this song can make you cry, too. I feel like yeah, it can it get could. you. In the right moment, yeah. this song can get you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you better you. watch out. If, if you're sad, just... Just Stay away. <laughs> Fair warning. Any idea what the song could be about? Maybe somebody's getting dumped. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Break up song. Like, don't leave yeah. me in the dust. At least tell me how thinking. you really feel and give me closure. Yeah. I actually don't know the meaning. If I was just going to take a guess, it's don't ignore your inner circle. The people that have always been there for you, never forget them. Like, no matter how successful you become, no matter how much you change, you know, your environments and all that stuff, just make sure you're always appreciative of the people that help you. Support your support system. There's really no flaws in that song. For like what you're trying to accomplish here, they did it perfect. Despite what Tom says, that's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, we have a lot more Radiohead to get to. That's all right. So uh, let us know what you thought about that song and leave us some more requests. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.